to you say the making of a stock bubble is forming. Where and explain. <laughs> Well, what you're seeing here, actually, and the red tie definitely pops today, by the way, uh, is oh, a lot of money. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. Instead of broadening out, you know, really seeing the, the rally here narrow into those magnificent seven stocks, not all of them equally, uh, but this morning we have Facebook up 20%. I mean, that's a huge move. Yeah. Uh, they blew out earnings. Uh, we saw the same thing uh, today with Amazon as well. Uh, they're up another 7%. So we're seeing a lot of money funnel into these names. In fact, it's kind of getting crazy when you look at the stats. You have five stocks that make up 25% of the entire S&P 500. That's insane. We haven't seen that since we had the tech bubble forming back in 99 into 2000. So you know, I think what's going to happen here, Ashley, is you have, similar to what happened in the late 90s, is you, know, you have a lot of money that's got to get into this market, um, and it's going to chase that momentum uh, where, the, where the moves have been the best, and that's ex exactly what you're seeing here starting this year. You know, those big tech names, Ryan, you know, they've, they've carried the weight for so long. They either lead us down or up. Uh, is there any other areas of the market that you would like to concentrate perhaps more on? I mean, I'm looking at Kid in the Candy Store when you take out the Magnificent Seven, because I think the rest of the market is way cheaper, probably better value if you look at small caps. Ah. They traded a historical, uh, you know, low valuation versus whether you historically. Mm -hmm. Uh, international stocks here look very, very cheap. I just don't know if this, these stocks are going to move right away. But if you're allocating money for the long term, especially if you need income for retirement, a lot of my clients are baby boomers, you have a lot of dividends out there on lower valuation companies that aren't the Magnificent Seven, which pays very little in dividends. And if you look at the valuation right now, it's high. And based on historically, uh, historical numbers, it's high. It could get a lot higher, a lot crazier here. The problem is when the bubble bursts, no one's going to tell you ahead of time. So I would look for max diversification now. Don't get seduced into that magnificent trade, even though it's magnificent right now. <laughs> Do you think we've missed, uh, or maybe we've already gone through it, a recession? Uh, we kind of fear now that the Fed's not going to cut in March, maybe in May. But overall, this is an incredibly resilient economy. I mean, that jobs number today was mind-blowing, actually. No one expected the jobs yeah. number to come at 350,000 jobs, unemployment 3.7 percent, wages up year over year 4.4 percent. I've been calling this for a long time, but this is Goldilocks. This is as good as it gets, and we already know inflation is coming down, which means purchasing power is going to go up this year. Consumers are going to have money to spend because we have a t tight labor market that's not going away. That's going to drive the U.S. economy. First quarter GDP growth is already estimated to be at like 4%. Man, oh, man, the news is just too good.